Hey viewers, I went to a big bike sale today at the local bike co-op and I want to show off some of the stuff I bought. Now the first thing that I bought is this Marin Pine Mountain mountain bike. Uh, I got this for $40. It's really cool. I'm pretty sure that this next seat is not original. I don't know even about this suspension seat post, probably not original. But I can go ahead and replace that stuff. Now the fork is kind of interesting. The fork is a Manitou Answer uh, by Easton. I believe it's a, a uh, Answer One, the first generation. Uh, and the insides, I think, are just toast because I can like kind of lift it up, and if I go ahead and just push it down, it just kind of goes right all the way down and doesn't come up at all. So I think the elastomers that are in there are just toast. But I ordered a rebuild kit, so hopefully I can rebuild it and make a video of that. Now the next thing that I bought were these handlebars, which came with a uh, Von Traeger race light stem, and it came with Altegra 6600 shifters, so uh, two by uh, 10 shifters, and came with Altegra brakes here, both front and back, and this whole setup cost me 20 bucks. Now, I bought this just because I'd never seen anything like it. It's a Suntour 3 pulley rear derailleur. I, I don't know much about it, but I'm going to do some research and maybe make a video uh, about it. But this cost me five bucks. I bought two pairs of Shimano Dior 3x9 trigger shifters, and these cost me ten bucks a pair. And I bought a Dior long cage rear derailleur here. Always nice to have. Looks like it's in pretty good shape and this cost me uh, 20 bucks. I got a bag full of uh, down tube cable stops and there's both flat ones and curved ones. And uh, I think there's about seven or eight pairs in here and this whole bag cost me 10 bucks. I got a whole big box of stainless steel brake cables like road brake cables um this whole box and i'm not sure how many are in there i'm kind of guessing maybe around 70 80 um but this this whole box cost me 20 bucks for stainless steel brake cables that's a real deal so now I was basically done looking, I paid for my stuff, was getting ready to leave, and then I spotted this bike. At first glance, I thought it was a kid's bike, but I looked closer and realized it was actually an adult's bike. It's a bit rough. It's a Gary Fisher Tarpon. Uh, now this side doesn't look too bad, but the other side is kind of a mess. Uh, it looks like it had been vandalized with spray paint, just kind of on the cranks, the derailleur, there's some spokes on the fork and on the side here, but I'm hoping I can clean that up. Uh, if not, uh, I can, uh, you know, at least get some parts out of it. It actually only cost me 20 bucks. So I figured, yeah, what the heck, I'll go ahead and get it. Well, this is the total haul. I spent $155 on this and I think I got some great deals. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I think I can make a video out of this uh, Marin uh, rebuilding the, the Manitou fork on there. I might be able to do something with that three pulley rear derailleur because it's curiosity. I've never seen anything like that before. So I have to do some research on that. Um, but I had a, a, to a lot of fun there talking with all the people that work there and some of the people uh, that, that were there to buy. I met some of my viewers. Uh, one guy actually kind of expected me to be there, brought a, uh, a rear wheel and was having a hard time getting the free hub on off there. So I gave him some advice on how to get the free hub off. But uh, a lot of fun. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click that subscribe button down there. Be sure to click the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there like that page. I post a lot of stuff, fun stuff over there. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching.